Hi, this is uh, William Bird from Whitefoot Down. Uh, we're here with Mark Trosel, uh, lead design for SRT and Dodge. Uh, and we brought our cameras over here to really look at the Hellcats. And you were very involved in that. Uh, my favorite is the challenge of the Charger, uh, just being a family guy of three kids. And so I love the idea of having a car this size with 707 horsepower, 6.2 liter, 90 degree V8. What was the story of how this sort of became about? Yeah, and, and you nailed it, right? It's 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 really a four door muscle car, right? Yeah. It's for people that you know the Challenger. It's a little tight in the back with um you know with it just being a two door, but we you know the, the the Charger really fits a great family. And and there's people like myself that's got a family, but yeah. I still like to have fast cars. And yeah, so exactly. the 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 Charger really was a great basis for that. And we wanted to get a lot more identity in the face of the car versus the regular Charger I was say, as this well. Was one of the first Chargers that really started around out the front yeah which some of the others have kind of followed a little bit but this was where it started from a design standpoint. exactly right? yeah. exactly and th this car this new design came out uh, last year and um, we you know one of the great things about being a designer in SRT and Dodge is that not only do they function but they they, they perform but they have to function and they have to look good as well and yep. that's where I come in and, and making sure that um, I meet all the engineers require cooling requirements on the front imagine, end imagine as this well. Thing takes a lot of air cooling. I know yeah. the Challenger has this circle in the in the, the fog light to get some of the air in. Yep. What did you do on this one? On so this make, one, we were sure able we the to same amount of air. We were actually able to utilize the upper grill and the lower grill to get the amount of air that we needed to okay. the air box in it. But yeah, that's a interesting uh, concept that we came up with on the Challenger. We call it the uh, lit air catcher headlamp on it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Well. Someone, someone probably said, "Hey, you're missing a lens there or something." Yeah, but it's actually functions. Is the is the intake in the same spot over there? Exactly. So that's why it comes into the side on exactly. that on that car. Exactly. Okay. But you're able to still get a, the same amount of air cooling into this. Exactly. Um, from speaking of air, from like an aerodynamic standpoint, what you have to do to what basically is a already a pretty high performance family sedan, but make it into something that can go 204 miles Two, an hour. Yeah, yeah. 204 uh, miles an hour. A lot of time in the wind tunnel on on okay. the, on the car. To make sure that we have that stability, our SRT engineers actually do 150 mile an hour lane changes as well, wow. um, just to make sure that the car yeah, has that stability. Awesome. I know that <laughs> we've got pretty fun jobs. Yeah, that's a bet. Yeah. <laughs> um, but but you know, besides the suspension piece of it, you know, you look at the shapes. Um, you know, this we call it a built-in splitter, but this actually does help the create downforce and reduce front lift on the car okay. in conjunction with the rear spoiler that's on the back of it. So okay. we, we balance those two pieces Is out. Is there anything uh, underneath uh, from? Like the under tray or anything that had to be modified. Um, we, or was nothing that, that we had to modify nice. on that. Nice. Yeah, and the guys did a great job of making sure everything was pretty it's flush. Flat. Yeah, yeah okay. on the yeah. underside. But there's no sort of um, uh, extra material. No added more along tray the on the bottom. Okay. Exactly. That's for a 200 mile an hour car, which used to be just supercar level. You know, right. It's it's amazing that that's. Right. Possible. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, so we spent a lot of time, you know, getting that balance right on the hood. You can see the um, the air extractors that okay. we have as well. And then yep. there's also an air intake. Where what this does is this does take air in over top of the supercharger just to keep it to, to keep it balloon. exactly okay. and yeah. these do function as heat extractors as well and okay um, one of the neat things obviously these cars are well known for doing smoky burnouts so you've probably seen some where the smoke actually ends Starts up coming, coming up back up the, through and it, yeah. it looks like a bull it's very, blowing very like 60s muscle car <laughs> yeah the smoke yeah. just kind of coming up through the inside of the car yeah. and it probably doesn't happen in this one but like you know <laughs> I remember that from the old days so yeah. That's, uh, yeah that's pretty amazing yeah uh, and you drive a challenger hellcat yourself right i'm fortunate uh, enough to be driving a challenger hellcat daily yes. driver in the michigan area right? michigan area uh year round in january yes in january uphill to your house uphill you to my house with yeah. um some monster uh snow tires what on kind the of tires back do you have on that? um i have yokohama's on okay yokohama so they built a, a giant snow tire basically yeah actually yeah exactly <laughs> i would 275 inch 275 what is it 275 45 i believe that's amazing it is. so yeah. it's a it's a monster but um, I put the red key away for the winter. Makes just sense. just use 500 horsepower. So dial for it that. back a little bit. Yeah, yeah. but it's still yeah. oh, it's such a blast. And people to give drive. you grief for that, right? Just people, a daily driving. Some of the guy. hardcore people that feel like cars should be put in the garage um, year round or when That's it's funny. in this kind of weather give me a hard time. But I believe that we should drive these cars because well, they're so and much you've fun. Made uh, some amazing <laughs> cars. So I uh, appreciate your time. My pleasure. Mark, thank you. My pleasure. And uh, again, thanks for watching Right Foot Down. And uh, we'll be continuing to cover the 2016 uh, North American International Auto Show. Thanks for watching.